Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I would like to share with you a very beautiful game played by 14 year old Magnus Carlsen. At the time of this game Carlsen's rating was 2570 and his opponent was Oystein Holle rated 2336. This game was played in 2005 at Gaustal Bugern Masters. But before starting our game, as usual, would like to warm up your brain, please take a look at this position and try to find the mating line for white. I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Actually, there is a mate in two. And now, without further ado, let's go for our main game and see what happened on the board. Carlsen opened up with d4 and Holler responded with d5, c4, c6. We have the Slav defense knight c3 and Black accepted the gambit hit pawn. He takes c4. Now comes e4. Another popular alternative is e3, but in our game we have e4. White is both setting up a traditional pawn center and also wants to win back the lost pawn by developing the bishop with a tempo. Black responded with b5, protected the pawn and we have a4. White is starting to challenge Black's pawn structure on the queen side. We have b4, knight a2, knight f6 and e5. Knight d5 and finally white is winning back the sacrificed pawn. Bishop takes c4, e6, knight f3, bishop e7, bishop d2, a5, black is strengthening his pawn on b4 and also at some point can bring his bishop on f1, a6 diagonal. Knight c1, Carson is looking for a more active square for his queenside knight with bishop b7, knight b3, knight d7. White castles king side, rook c8. Black wants to go for c5 advancement, open up the light squared bishop's diagonal, and also this c5 will allow Black to activate his pieces. Rook c1 was played, and Black also castled king side, queen e2, and we have c5. We have bishop b5, c takes d4, rook takes c8, bishop takes c8, knight takes d4. Knight b8 and queen g4. Yes, white is leading in development and now Carlsen is starting to organize an attack on the king side. Right now the threat is bishop h6. If we have a look at the position, still there are some problems with Black's queen side pieces. Holler first developed them and then undeveloped. Still is looking for better squares for these pieces, but meanwhile white is organizing his attack, usually in typical variations. Black is bringing his bishop on a6 in order to get rid of white's light squared bishop, but in our game we will see that idea very late. Now comes king h8, yes, black is moving away his king from this dangerous g file, rook e1, queen b6, bishop d3, bishop a6, finally bishop a6 is on the board, but already it's too late, Carson is moving back the bishop on b1, and this bishop can now play a very important role when organizing the attack. At any moment, white queen supported by this light squared bishop can cause too many problems for black king. Knight c6 was played, which is a total mistake. Instead of knight c6, it was better to play knight d7, but in our game we have knight c6. Now you will see the difference of knight d7 and knight c6. Here Carson landed the first heavy punch and played bishop h6. Look at this beautiful bishop sacrifice. Black didn't dare to accept the bishop sacrifice and played rook g8 because there was a direct mating threat, but let's have a look what if g takes a6, then in this case white can play queen e4, can create another mating threat, if f5 then e takes f6, and if knight takes f6 then the knight on c6 is under fire, white can win it and after bishop d8 Queen takes b6, bishop takes b6, rook takes e6. Yes, white is managing to gain advantage. Although I have to mention that this continuation could have been preferable for white. But in our game after bishop h6 we have rook g8, which allowed Carson to go for another insane move. This time he played bishop takes h7. Look at this beautiful position, guys. 
King takes h7 was played, black accepted the sacrifice and we have bishop e3. White is now threatening checkmate in one. Rook c8, black freed the g8 square for the king, but now comes knight takes e6. Carson both created a mating threat and also attacked black queen. F takes e6. First we have queen h3 check, king g8. Queen takes e6 check, king f8 and finally after grabbing the pawn on e6, Carson also won the queen on b6. Knight takes b6 and another powerful move, knight takes a5. Here of course capturing on a5 could have been better, but black made another mistake, played rook c7 and after knight takes c6, bishop c8, queen b3, finally black resigned. It turns out that the knight is untouchable, you can't even win it because of this queen f3 check, that's why after queen b3, Oystein Hole resigned. A very beautiful game by Magnus Carlsen, those bishop h6, bishop takes h7 moves were simply awesome and I hope that you enjoyed this game greatly. Thanks for watching, for more games consider subscribing to my channel, also press the bell button to get notified about new uploads, I will see you in my next video.